Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I'm gonna show you or help help hopefully show you how to duplicate or make a bob wire uh, border to engrave on or however you could use it. Here's one I just did, just so I make sure I knew if I could do it. But we're gonna we'll zoom out of there and we'll get we'll get it out of the way. We'll set it to the side. And there's several ways you could do this. And this is, to me, the, it's maybe not the best way, but it's uh, probably the quickest. But anyway, I'm going to take a circle. And I'm going to press the P key, get it in the center of the page. And then I'm going to go to Effects, Contour, and I'm going to contour it. That'll work right there. And I actually started drawing with a hairline. I wish I wouldn't have done that. So let's, let's break the contour apart. And I'll go ahead and make that red line a, a, a black line. Just make it a little bit easier later. Anyway, so now we've got two lines. And let's go ahead and let's group them together so we won't if we ungrouped them while I go to contour. Now I'm going to go over here and get my envelope tool. And I'm just going to offset these a little bit. And I'm actually going to, I'm probably doing this too much. Because I'm going to just, so you can see on the video. And then let's, um, let's fill, fill this in with black. Go ahead and get rid of our contour tool. Now I'm going to make a duplicate and I'm going to fill it in with gray and then I'm going to rotate it. And that's not too bad. But now, like in previous video, I want to take that black one again and duplicate it. So now I've got two of the black and one of the gray. I'm going to go up to a range. Because I'm selected on the one I just made, I'm going to put it at the front of page. So now the black is on top of the gray all the way around. But there's actually a black behind it. So now we can take our eraser tool. And I want to just erase every other intersection. So here's one. So I'll erase it. I'll skip that one. I'll erase this one. I'll skip that one. I'll erase that one. I'll skip that one. I'll erase that one. And that didn't work very good right there. Okay. So what we have here, we've got a black goes underneath the gray. And then around here it goes on top of the gray, underneath the gray, on top of the gray. And I actually did something wrong here. Kind of clean that up a little bit. Anyway, and there's a better way to do that. I just not aware of it right this minute. Then we're going to take and we're going to make that actual bob bob wire part. And the best way I've found to do that is just to take your rectangle tool, draw your little rectangle, and uh, you know what we're going to do first. We're going to and I'm going to show you so. When you're drawing and you're drawing with a red hairline and you don't want a red hairline anymore, again, just go down here and without having anything selected, go up there and I'll ask you for graphic and then you can change it to black. And now every time you draw something, it'll be in black. I normally draw in red. Okay, so we've got that and we're going to corner radius it till it's round then I'm going to duplicate that and I'm going to set my I've got mine on point zero zero one point zero one so it'll go a little faster you could also hold down the control button and then you could 
and then duplicate it again. Hold down the control button. The control is going to let you keep it in the same um, up and down so you won't get off. Then what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the last two. I'm going to convert them to curves. I'm going to take the shape tool and I'm just going to kind of, this is where I'm not much of an artist. Uh, but you could spend a little time right here and make it kind of look like a barbed wire. Uh, you know, the, the prick part of the barbed wire. You find out real quick whether you're an artist or not. And then what you could actually, once you played around with that and you could play around with it for a long time and, and get more like what you want, I'm going to maybe put a node right there so I can put a little bit of a hook shape to it. That doesn't look too bad. Now, instead of taking the time to do this other one, I'm going to make a duplicate of that. Tell you what, I'm going to actually erase this one. I've already made a duplicate of that. Now I'm going to mirror image it both directions. And then I'm going to put it on our line. So you, you basically got the same barb on both sides. And that's where the control helped me a while ago because now I'm a little bit off. But it doesn't matter. You're making a bob wire and it's just a wrap piece of wire. So now we're going to group that together. Go up to arrange and group. And we're going to fill it in individually with black. And then you can see how you've got it grouped. You can make your outline color white or your your outline color right click that looks pretty much like a, a wrap piece of bob wire and because they are grouped together you're going to be able to we group them together you're going to be able to change the size of them because you you drew it off site and then that's way too big for our wire so you can just reduce this down that doesn't look half bad it's maybe a little bit too big but then you want to kind of rotate it a little bit back. Anyway, that's still a little bit big, but for the video, that's going to work. Now, to get it close, I'm going to bring down my indexing lines and hit P, put it in the center of the page. Indexing line that way. So that way I'm in the center. I want to make a duplicate of this. I'm going to put a rotation in the center. And I'm just going to rotate around to where, and you can see it's off because of the fact that we're not working on a perfect circle. But I'm going to duplicate around. And, you know, you could play with that and maybe take that one out. Maybe move this one up a little bit. And then because we're not working with a perfect circle and it was just going around as a circle, then you're going to need to kind of play around with these. That one, they look pretty good. You'll spin that one around a little bit. And see what's happening. I've got my rotation way over here. So I was trying to rotate it, and it's, and then that's a little bit high. And um, anyway, you can see the result. Um, surely you can do a lot better than I did. You could, you know, you play around and, um, but it does look like it's twisted wire and maybe I've twisted a little bit too much. But that's how you'd make a bob wire and being from Texas, I use this quite a bit in a graphic. I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.